Welcome to my spare bedroom. So, today I'm cleaning up my jacket closet, which is also in my spare bedroom. So, we're gonna organize. That's, this is where I store my extra hangers. We're gonna organize my jackets. We're gonna do the whole shebang in here today. I wanna organize puffers. This is a blanket I found in the closet. We have extra hangers extra pillows and I'm just pulling literally everything out of here so I can you know see what I got Zizia, I really need to get rid of some stuff too let's be very honest with ourselves <sighs> I think this is my thickest one. This shiny one that YouTube gave me. I think it's from Hollister, Abercrombie. And then I have my white fox one. And I kind of want to keep them all. So I have another black puffer. Where? Where it's, um. Oh, the one you're wearing. Mm -hmm. You're right. You have four. Erin. But they're all different. I, I they, live in Los Angeles. It's hot here. I know. The only one that I would say maybe get rid of is, honestly, if you want to keep yours, it's maybe the white box. But look at all the puffers. And then I have my oh. favorite one of all time that I never get to wear. Here's what I'm getting rid of. Really talking to the camera for the past like 20 minutes in here and it wasn't recording. Anyways, these are all my puffers in here on this side, they go back. And then you have, you know, the leathers and the pleathers. And then you have some of these that are just like shorter jackets. This I got for the Alabama game. On this side, I put all of my longer jackets, which they are crammed, but I didn't have a lot of space. So I put these two cause they don't go as long over on this side. Cause this is a little too crowded. Oh my God. We bought my sister's man a lighter in Paris and we couldn't find the lighter anywhere. And we told him we're so sorry. Oh, we so lost cute. the lighter. Oh. I just found it in my jacket pocket. Well, Merry Christmas. All right, this is all that we found in the jackets. We found a lighter from Paris. I need to send that to my sister. A large Los Angeles nude blossom lip gloss. And a pair of earrings I do not remember owning or wearing ever. And that's what I found in my jacket pockets. And then I'm gonna donate all of this. Excuse me, darling. I know, yeah, she all up in the biz. So we got these containers from Amazon for the hot cocoa bar and I had this one left. And I have this one with the lid and Erin got this gel polish kit I, for Christmas. I'm so excited. It's so cute. And now I'm just trying to find a way to organize it. We're thinking we're gonna put the nail polishes in this one by color. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna just, cause see the lid like closes. Oops. Oops. <laughs> with that on there and so that would be cute <laughs> one fell swoop and they'll be all knocked over but and then you can put this somewhere and then you can put all your different little gadgets in this one right. maybe with the lid isn't this so cute and fun <gasps> wow what color is this also this kit we got it off of amazon oh Ooh, oh it's glitter that's it's really glitter. cool are you gonna do your nails soon yeah i want to i might even do them tonight all right, we did it. Look at all these colors Ooh, that came in the kit. I know. So Dude, nice. so much so came with this kit. And then base, top coats, you got the charger. Cuticle. Look at all Even this. comes with stickers if you want to make yourself do a French tip. Girl, will I be doing that? How, how's that going to turn I don't know. I really don't know, but I do want to try it. <laughs> I know. I used then, to do those stickers when I was a little girl. Dude, this is so cute. The cutest little thing. Wow, you get a whole salon. This is a really cute Christmas present. Yeah. She uses her roommate's kit all the time, so mm -hmm. she was like, I wanted to get one for me. I want to use it. Okay, love it. And then, yeah, they can just Look stack somewhere. Okay, that's extra cute. This is perfect. Check. 
Ten. 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 Okay, we're getting ready. I'm trying to fix this camera. The lighting is not sickening, but I am getting ready to film my big PR unboxing, which is gonna take up my whole day. So <laughs> two days after Christmas, I'm not in the mood to get back into content. Sometimes you have to anyway, so. I need to get my life together. I would love to just sit at home all day and just chill, but that's what I've been doing for like the past five days. So I kind of need to do stuff. So I'm getting it together. I'm getting ready right now. I'm gonna do just a little bit of makeup. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. You know, we're just gonna do a light glam, my usual kind of everyday routine. Cause I'm just going to literally open boxes. I don't even know why I put makeup on, but I like to glam a little bit before I do my videos. Where's my brush? So this weekend I have full intentions on taking down Christmas, which I'm very excited about because I'm, to be frank with you, I'm sick of seeing it. Like I'm like as soon as Christmas is over, I'm like, get it out of my face. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Why is this about ball? Oh, I don't know if anyone else feels that way where you're just like, okay, it's done. Let me not see, let me not see this stuff anymore, but that's kind of me. Wow, I've almost used a second bottle of this foundation from Mario. I've been using the Glossier one, but Today we're just gonna use this one because it's sitting right next to me and I'm being lazy. Anyways, I um, I try to vlog a little more this holiday season. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I also got an Apple Watch for Christmas. Ty got it for me. He wants me to be an Apple Watch girly. I mean, I asked for it, but my problem with Apple Watches is I absolutely hate the way they look. On my wrist, it's just so bulky and like sporty. It's not me. Like it's not who I am as a person. I don't love it, but I do love the watch, but I don't love wearing this big thing on my arm. So it's just not cute for me. Um, but if you like your Apple watch, I'm not trying to dog anyone because my husband loves his and I really have been enjoying it merely for keeping up with my workouts. That's like the only reason I have it. I have every single notification turned off on this watch. I also have it in theater mode, so it will not light up ever. I have my phone up my ass enough, and like I do not need a phone attached to my wrist. I just more so wanted to do it for health benefits and like working out and stuff. Like that was the real goal with it. So I have everything like off on the watch. Like I have literally like since I've gotten it on Christmas, I've literally not looked at one text message or anything like that from it. Cause that's just not what I'm into it for you know what i mean like that's not the goal so i wore it into my yoga class the other day because i wanted to track how many calories i burnt in there and in one hour i burnt almost 400 calories so i was like that's really good that's something i can live with i don't care put just a little extra concealer on because y'all know the darkness falls in my under eye it's just Frightening. I had to go to a dermatologist. I don't know if I told you guys this. I had a rash right here in my small line. Um, and it lasted for a month. And it was actually what I thought it was. But I just did not have prescription strength medicine to make it go away. Like I tried the over-the-counter stuff and it didn't work. So um, she gave me the good stuff. And it is clearing up. But it's actually taking a really long time to go away. So I thought like as soon as I got prescription strength cream for it. It would go away like immediately and it's actually taken like a week and it's still there. My skin has just been trying me at max capacity and I've had about enough. I've had about enough of it. So I'm hoping to get rid of this rash one day. I literally, it was with me for like a month before I went to the dermatologist. Like a literal month where I went because I was trying so many creams and nothing was working. So I was like, fine. I've been loving these benefit drops. Like, listen, I like have a love hate relationship with tints like this, these liquidy tints, cause they're so messy and I just get over them because they don't even put that much pigment on your skin. But for some reason, <laughs> I've been reaching for these every day. I don't know why, but I kind of like them again. I've gone through waves with it and I'm back on my Benetint train. I think I like because it's just like this tiny flush of color, but it doesn't like cake up your makeup because it's just like a liquidy tint. So that's my theory on it. I don't know. You're watching a 15 minute makeup challenge right now. I really want to go through this PR though. It's been three months, I think. And you guys are always like, where is your PR unboxing girl? And I'm like, I know, I know, I know. I will say there is one thing that gets on my nerves. Can I, can I vent? This is very first world problems as an influencer. I get a lot of PR as it is from brands that I work with and that I love. And that's like fantastic. And I'm very blessed for that. But like a lot of times brands use PR agencies 
to do their send outs, meaning they hire a third party company that, you know, has a roster of people who are celebrities and influencers and will post their stuff to get attention on their product and help them market their stuff. So a lot of the agencies will get your address and be like, oh, for instance, this is just an example. This is not factual, but they'll be like, oh, hi, um, you know, we have Tacho, we'd love to send to you and it's a PR agency. So you give them the shipping address and they will send you not just Tatcha, but they'll send you like a lot of other stuff from a lot of other brands that they represent. So you'll get a bunch of packages. And you're like, oh, that's a good thing, right? But I feel like sometimes just because I've been doing it so long, um, it becomes a little bit overkill and it's like a little bit too much and like I technically didn't ask for all that. And sometimes you know you get really good stuff and you're like, ooh. So I'm not gonna lie, like I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, they send me too much. But sometimes like seriously, it is too much. Like sometimes it's, it's too much. Like I'm just one person. So y'all know I divvy it out to you guys, family members. A little bit of it gets donated, but most of the time I do give it back to you guys who've just like watched me for years and years and have been makeup lovers. Like I feel like that's a good place for it to go. And then of course my sister and like all my family members and all that, they get they get their fair share. I'm sure they're like, okay, girl, we, we have enough. We're good. And I try to send like Tyler's mom stuff and like everybody some stuff, but it's just like builds up, you know, and then sometimes I'm like opening packages in there and I don't even know what I'm opening or what it is or where it came from. So that's whenever I'm like, okay, this is a little too much, you know, like it's, it, it's creating too much. So that is my first world problems. I'm done. I'm not even trying to complain. I'm not even trying to complain about it. I'm just saying sometimes that stresses me out and I feel really overwhelmed and that is why I stopped having my PR like 90% of my PR I stopped having it sent to my house and I only go through it like once every few months however I have very few brands like maybe five brands plus my influencer friends who own businesses that I make sure their stuff comes to my house because it's so important for me to support their businesses and they support mine. And that's just like such an important thing for me because it counts and it means something. Um, so I wanna make sure the packages come to my house so I can make sure I'm posting it and sharing the community, you know? If it goes up where the rest of my PR goes, it's not gonna get open, you know, that quickly. So, and I know a lot of these PR agencies and stuff like that don't care as much, but like my friends, I wanna make sure. Cause also my friends' businesses, they're all small businesses and they really, you know, every all small business, they could use the PR, the press, the press. Okay, let me finish my eyes and I'll be right back. Finish filming my PR unboxing. That will be up maybe after this vlog. So now you'll know it's coming or maybe it'll already be up. I don't know, I don't know. I'm exhausted. That took me almost four hours to film. So that'll get cut down into like, probably like a 30 minute video. So grab a snack when it comes for that one. But I'm sending my footage over to my editor to edit all of that. And now I'm about to work on my puzzle. Okay, so I don't know if you guys knew, but I'm like puzzle-aholic. It's one of my mini little hobbies that I like to do whenever I'm watching TV and just like hanging out. So I'm not just like on my phone the whole time. But let me show you this one I'm working on. So we already did this one that I got a thing of Amazon maybe this one was really really fun and super easy to do because there's so many different little pictures it was easy to identify like where each piece went this one is a little harder but it also has a lot of pictures i think this one's from amazon too it's so cute i think I, maybe someone gave this to me as a gift but anyways it gets difficult because like all the first are still the same but y'all i'm getting close as you can see faces Ooh, that one's like almost done i'm looking for that forehead piece faces are kind of hard so also i got so many questions about where i got this board and it's just like this kind of fuzzy it collects but cat fur i'm not gonna lie but it is a nice board because it's super lightweight but very sturdy um they have like a million variations of this on amazon i could not find this one because i think that's where i got it but it's called a puzzle board so just look up for a puzzle board and you'll see like totally even better options than mine but i do like the lip on it as well so pieces don't fall off and the cloth collects cat hair but it's like velvet so the pieces don't slide around they like stay put on the board so it's nice you can move it around without your puzzle falling everywhere but anyways let me get back to my puzzle honey guys i'm in the home stretch i got a little bit more to go i will report back you're killing this honey you're doing great <laughs> update these are my final pieces so guys i did this in two days 
thousand piece puzzle for a cat. Not so bad, I think they're so cute. We're not finished yet. Where is your forehead, girl? Where is she? Almost to the end, guys, with three more pieces. Get in there, where's it at? Well, two are here, and I can't find where the third piece goes. Yeah. Oh my God, it's her hair. Sure. So that goes there, boom. And that goes there, <sighs> boom. Da, 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 da. Done. Wow. So cool. I know, isn't it cool? We have you been busy it. this weekend. Did you we need to hang this up. We, we need to hang this up. Someone <laughs> frame it, I'll hang it we up. Are not. Get the Someone hodgepodge. Get, Get it. the hodgepodge out. Get it. You guys, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you. Laura did this. I, I told them all we, by we did this one together mm -hmm. this yeah, one was really so fun. funny and so fun it's so cute yes i love it oh my god it's you finished great job. thank you Proud of you. me and aaron are going through all the pr this Dude. is aaron's stash i'm having the time of my life look, look how cute the these first thing she went for <laughs> look how many we got Dude, look at it on my fingertip are you joking like if this is like the best PR. Also, they're so soft and fluffy. Like this these. is, I'm having the time of my life, guys. And I also got another one. It's like a little powder one. What else do you have in your stack? I got a lot. Um, this like these lash extensions that you can do at home. Some bold DIY. These cute little nails. That would be cute to put on this week. Just to have something on. Lash, a lot of moisturizers. We got those. Oh, that's pretty. She glint. Oh my goodness, that's that looks so cool. beautiful on camera. It does. Um, this foam battery, like hello. I mean, we got some cool things. I don't have an eyeshadow palette. This that is, is like so pretty. Such a cute, easy. Oh, gorge. So pretty. I'm having such a good time. Got little phone rings. Oh, I think I have another one, but I can't decide which one I want more. Oh, here it is. Hmm, the heart's really cute. Oh, Isn't they both it? are. So this is stuff we're gonna put in the giveaway box. And I'm just going through. This is my pile right here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I wanna keep my friend's stuff and like some drugs will make it to review. And yeah, we're just digging through and then we still have the wagon to go through. So this I is- also Dude. Oh. Dude, look at, I want to show, I have to show the people what I use. Next file. What oh. color? Clout. Girl, hold on. Clout. Oh, oh. And then. You got to face this way. Girl, the lippy. This is, it actually is so pretty. Look, and then this is. What is it? This is the new Maybelline Plump. Mm. And then this is in the shade 007 Coco Zing. It's so pretty. It's like I'm very gonna, faint. Let me show. Like it's very faint, very pretty, and it definitely makes your lips look delicious. <laughs> also, I got this little headband. Okay, it's cute. It's cute, right? Okay, we're screaming right Are now. Are you joking, Miss Rare Beauty? All comparison. My finger and this. It's so cute. This a these are the cutest little things I have ever seen. Blush and glow. Okay, right, so this is some of the stuff Anne's keeping. I made a rule. Everything I want has to fit to this basket. So we're not over keeping too much. So she got some peach and lily. I had a couple candles. Oh no, no, I don't know anymore, guys. Blush from Haley's Beauty. She said she's gonna go get us Krispy Kreme this week with a gift card we got. Uh -huh. So I tell her just put it in your wallet and surprise us with donuts. And then this is the cordless straightener. My thumbnail is so busted, so please. This is the cordless straightener from GHD. That is a lot going on. Lots of skincare, couple lip products. Oh, that's a mascara. I need to redo it already. No, you don't. Oh, the mini I have to uh, decide all gel polish thing. Which lippies I want. Gotta have the drunk elephant. I kept some of that too. <clears throat> well, we're at our favorite restaurant in the whole wide world. Absolutely. Best restaurant. I love Denta. Driver in LA, Denta Fong. Go, but you have to make reservations, guys. Not even in LA. They, I think they have one like in Georgia and stuff. Like, girl, you need to look it up. To the one in LA, make a reservation like a month in advance so you don't have to wait. Because I'm an anti-waiter. I do not like to wait two hours for a table. I'm just not about that life. 
but we're here. I mean, no Georgia. A, no Georgia. Oh. There's not California, one in Georgia. California, Washington, Oregon, Nevada, New York. Oh. One of those states that have it? California, Washington, Oregon, Nevada, New York. And I'm pretty sure they have one in Japan as well. Sorry. No, Taiwanese, um, Taiwan. Ta no, but I think it's Taiwanese. Have, it is Taiwanese. They yeah. do. They have a big one. My One of my agents said she went to the original Den Tai Fung in Taiwan. In Taiwan. She said it's like in a skyscraper. It's crazy. But anyways, the food is so good. Um, so I'm going to show you all how to eat the dumplings Let's go. at Den Tai Fung. We get the soup. Georgia. Oh no. Dumplings. How Aaron's this, like, making the sauce. Okay, this sauce. That's a lot of chili sauce in mine. This is yours. That's a lot of chili. I think you're a bit crazy. It's not that spicy. Okay, so you put soy, vinegar, and then a little bit of chili and it's in your so mixture. Bomb. It is good. It's so bomb. My guys, you literally can't even comprehend how bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all how to eat mm. the dumplings or how we like to eat the dumplings. Here's. So you put a little bit of. These are so gorgeous. They have soup in them. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bit of your mixture and then you grab a dumpling. <gasps> oh, you oh, I messed up. It's okay. All the soup, so th I wasn't supposed to poke it, but all the soup is, you're supposed to poke a hole in it in the spoon. And let the soup drain out like that. Oh, there it goes. I did a really bad job, guys. <laughs> okay, and then you just put the whole thing in your mouth and eat it. I feel like it's gonna be really hot. Yeah, it, it might is. be hot. You need a way. Cheers. Oh, I dropped my chopsticks anymore. Ready? Mmm. A plus. It gets a little messy. It does get messy. So you gotta get a good dip. The dip is where it's at. Here, go here. Let's get a little bit of garlic. That's ginger. I mean ginger. I mean ginger. But I'm not. <laughs> All right. Now we're ready. That's a lot of ginger. When they're not boiling hot, you don't pop a hole in them. Yeah. But it's so good. I think there's a cucumber salad. <laughs> oh, bless them. Let bless you. And the, these are these spicy wontons. They're really good as well. It all hits. These, it does. Let me tell y'all something real quick. These bad boys right here. The baby back. These are mini baby backs. These are. What do they call it? Short rib. I thought it was again. Yes, short rib. I just want to show you guys the ugliest truck in the whole world. It's I, ugly. I kind of want it. No! I would never ride in that. Oh my god. The Tesla truck. The way I didn't even really think this was going to be real. I hate it. Why is it so big? It's a truck. <laughs> Do it. Who cares? Better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yeah. Put it on, Aaron. Watch how I'm vlogging for you. Do it, Aaron. Just do it like how you just did it. <laughs> it's like a real jacket. So I love this it. is gonna be approximately 200 grams. This is my rash, my face that I keep complaining about. I also have it here. Perioral dermatitis. I don't even want to get into it today. I just finished editing my vlog and I was like, wow, this was a really boring vlog. <laughs> I mean, maybe some of y'all didn't think it was that boring, but I, after editing it, I was like, um, okay. But to be honest with you, that's why I don't vlog as much because sometimes my life is just boring. Well, so that's what I got. Like, that's what I do. I just work on stuff and hang out at my house. And that's all I got. That, that was this week's vlog. However, we did go out for New Year's Eve. I would like to share some of what happened on New Year's Eve because that part is not as boring, okay? Also, I'm getting major requests for me to do a cleaning vlog. So I'm gonna do that soon for you guys because I asked what y'all wanted me to film and everybody's just like, we just want you to clean. Bye bye. So I'll do a cleaning vlog very soon for you guys. I cleaned up my house yesterday and I was like, dang, I could have filmed that, but he doesn't like when I close the door. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my normal life vlog where life is just like kind of boring. Oh, 
and we also did mood board night. So I'm gonna show you guys mood board night where my friend Daniel, he was like, let's do mood board night at your house. And I was like, so down. So he set it up and then I did all the food and everything. We all made mood boards or it's like vision boards. It's like 2024 vision boards. And then we went out for New Year's Eve. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of both of that. And uh, then we're gonna end the vlog. And then next week I'll clean. Vlog fam, we just got new nails, okay? Last time I vlogged, well not the last time, but I also was getting nails, but that was a month ago, so. We just got some chrome silver nails. These are gonna be so sickening for New Year's with, you know, some rings, some jewelry. I don't know, but I want it, last time I got red, so this time I wanted to do something a little more fun. These nails last me like a month, so it's kinda nice because I don't have to deal with my nails for another month, but I think in between my next set, I'm gonna take a break and go back to press-ons. I don't know. So it's Friday and we have a lot going on today. Number one, get the nails done. Tonight, me and Daniel are hosting at my house a create your 2024 mood board party. So we're gonna have everybody over eat dinner and then do mood boards. But the problem is I literally don't have anything for them to do the mood boards with. So I've got to go get my little things for them to add on to their mood boards, if that makes sense. Ooh. Anyway, so yeah, I'm about to go run those errands right now and go pick up some stuff. I think I should just go to Target to get the glue, a couple pair of extra scissors because I don't think I have enough. It's going to be one, two, three, six of us. So that is the tea on today. So if you guys want to come with me, let's do it. Oh, and I just met a subscriber crossing the street. She was so sweet. Her name was Doris. So hello, Angel. Okay, here I go off into the world to get my stuff done. I don't know when the last time I bought a magazine was, but throw it back to Y2K, I'm about to go find some magazines. I don't know where I'm gonna find them. There is this old school magazine stand off the side of the road somewhere I saw, so I'm low-key gonna try to go find that. Don't hold me to it, cause I may not, I may give up, but I think I'm gonna go try to find that just to go get a bunch of creative different magazines for this. Not bought a magazine in like probably 20 years. I also need lunch cause I'm hungry. <laughs> So let's get into it. Guys, I'm here. Look at all the magazines. Los Angeles Times is on the street and it's just like an old school magazine store. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of these. You guys wanna see what Tyler does when he comes home from golfing? <sighs> this is what, this is my, my punishment. <laughs> my penance. <laughs> No, it's not. He's helping me clean because my friends are coming over tonight. Okay, so one, Ty got me this candle for Christmas and I think it's so pretty. And then I was looking in this magazine. Oh, I have to find it, guys. By the way, this is one of the magazines I got just because it was so freaking beautiful. I was like, wait. So I'm gonna keep, just keep this one. I love magazines. I forgot how much I love them. Like I haven't looked at a magazine in like years. <gasps> well, there's the brand, but they had the, the candle in the magazine when I opened it. And then the candle was burning right beside my magazine and it was just kind of a moment. Well, I can't find it. But anyways, I got these magazines. I also thought this would be a pretty coffee table book rather than like, see, that's a vibe. Watch. That's a vibe. I'm not gonna cut that one up either. You guys are like, did you buy any magazines to cut up? But I did, look at all these, okay? So these are affirmation cards that I got off Amazon. I love them. So I thought we could also put some of these on our boards tonight. And then I got these magazines. GQ. I want, I'm cutting out person of the year and putting it on my board just because it's so iconic to like have this moment. So I'm like, that could like inspire some type of iconic moment. I don't know. But it's so powerful, so inspiring. So I was like, let me do that. And I got Kylie's interview mag, which this is gonna be hard to cut out because like every advertisement is like next level. It's beautiful and it's on like this beautiful paper. Like I wanna frame all this, but you know what? We're gonna cut this one out. So cool. And then that's what I got. So yeah. We're gonna have some fun tonight. You guys look at the setup for our mood board night. It's a <laughs> so cute. Oh, guys, for intense setting attention. Intense. Lies are better than the board. Lies fancy. I love white people things. <laughs>
Wait, did you drop on the floor? Girl! Yeah, what do you know about that? Tyler and Lily trying to lift me up and I just picked them up. Like, I'm here.